And on this week's Health and Wellness, Life Coach Megan Gilroy introduces us to Joan Amaral of the Marblehead Zen Center. I love to hear stories about people who take the road less taken. And it's not every day that you get to meet a Zen priest, and I have that pleasure today. I'm here with Joan Amaral of the Marblehead Zen Center, and I can't wait for her to tell all about how she became a Zen priest and how each of us might benefit from having a Zen Center right here in Marblehead. So thank you for having me at the Zen Center. Oh, you're welcome. We're Very happy to have you here. Yeah, we're glad to have you in Marblehead. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about yourself. You started out in New Hampshire. I did. You were interested in dance and I was. somehow you made your way to California and I did. You became a Zen priest. So connect mm -hmm. all voila. these dots. Yeah. Okay. Well, so there was Washington DC in there somewhere. But I did move to San Francisco in nineteen ninety two and I was a dancer and a choreographer. Mm -hmm. And that was my gateway into Zen. Hmm. I think for many people being artists seeing reality from another point of view, no. you know, being creative, um, not being so interested in upholding a certain status quo. Right. I think many people like this were drawn to Zen. Yep. Zazen in particular, um, not just, there are different kinds of meditation practices. Mm -hmm. So Zen there's a way in which all the hoopla of the ceremonies and the forms was very familiar to me when I walked into the San Francisco Zen mm. Center. As a dancer, it was like, wow, this place has great production ah. values. <laughs> you know, like the flowers and the robes and the incense and the bells. All of that was um, exciting, mm -hmm. was beautiful, was um, deeply engaging. Mm -hmm. All of that deeply supportive for me to just sit down because personally sitting still with my own mind is one of the hardest things I've ever done. Yeah, that's hard for a lot of people. Yeah. The whole expression of Zen and the practice of Zen is not just formally, although this is an important part of training, you know, of having sacred space, we might call it, where the whole setup is conducive to just being still. But Zen is also about working and engaging with other humans, you mm. know, uh, we call it sometimes mindfulness in action. So we have work days in our backyard. We have this beautiful, lush backyard with the lilacs just popped last night nice. in the rain. And so we have regular work days as well where people come in their work boots and their jeans. And, you know, that's we also... We get a little dirty. Yeah, we get a little dirty. Get our hands in the earth and, and work together. Hmm. You know, work in silence and enjoy the body-to-body -body practice of just being side by side. Hmm. This is also an expression of Zen. Well, I'm so happy you are here on Marblehead and you've opened this amazing Zen Center and everyone is welcome to come, yes? Yes, absolutely, everyone. Great. Yes. Well, if you are interested in learning more about Joan and the Zen Center, you can go to their website, which is marbleheadzencenter.org. And next time we are going to be talking to Joan about what exactly is Zen. Five minutes or less. So until then, namaste, be well. <laughs>